Background Mr. X is 40 years old. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison for armed robbery and GBH, and has served two years of this sentence. He stabbed a victim after they refused to hand over their wallet to him when he approached them in an underpass, and his crime is believed to have been motivated by his heroin addiction. He has been convicted multiple times for shoplifting, robbery and possession of Class A drugs. Behavior in prison Mr. X has been involved in a number of violent altercations in prison and has spent some time in segregation following an assault on a prison officer. He has engaged well with the drug and alcohol program on the unit and has attended all sessions, but he is still thought to be involved in trading drugs on the ward. In addition, officers have expressed concern that his clean urine drug screens are not an accurate reflection of his substance use. They believe Mr. X may primarily be using research chemicals and spice which do not show up in standard drug screens. Childhood history Mr. X has never had a job. He left school at 14 with no qualifications. He reports that there was substantial domestic violence in his home. His father used heroin and overdosed when Mr. X was 11. His mother got clean at that time and made substantial changes to her life. Mr. X has three younger siblings who have all gone on to have successful careers, he views himself as the black sheep of the family. He reports that, there was always something wrong with me as a child. He struggled to sit still in classes and got into trouble for fighting in primary school. In secondary school he started drinking and smoking cannabis with the naughty boys from age 11. He says that he continued to get into trouble in school for fighting and trading. He started using heroin when he was 14, after which he became focused on finding enough money to pay for the drug. His mother discovered heroin in his bedroom and asked him to move out when he was 14, at which point he moved in with other people with substance misuse problems. He has not had any significant romantic relationships. Recent history His parole officer was concerned that his substance use had become worse in the run-up to his most recent offence. His mother died a year before the offence and he was asked to move out of his hostel for using drugs in communal areas. He has spoken about wanting to reconnect with his younger siblings but feeling too ashamed. He has also discussed wanting to learn a trade and in particular work outside doing something like bricklaying or gardening.